Hi, welcome to laurenbrem.com. I'm Lauren Brem, and I'm here today to talk with you about thinking and feeling sexually. So I'm reading, I'm finally reading Masters and Johnson's second book um, called Human Sexual Inadequacy, and I'm in love with it. And they talk a lot about this concept, thinking and feeling sexually. And I thought, you know, that's so fascinating because Again, when it comes to sexual experiences, we're often the spectator or the observer of ourself in sexuality. And they talk a lot about this too, getting people out of the spectator role. And what this is, is that's a place where we're judging ourselves. Am I doing it right? What does this look like? What should this look like? And we're also doing that with our partners. So we're not actually in our bodies um, feeling sexually, oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels like this. Ooh, that might feel better like that. And you know, that's the thinking part. Ooh, that might feel better like that. So when we get in touch with the feeling sexually, then we're able to start thinking sexually. I want this. I want that. We're noticing our, you know, how our partner is, and then we're having ideas that that uh, are sparked by that awareness, noticing that their breath is changing or their lubrication or muscle tightness or contraction, all of these things. So learning to feel and think sexually is such an important skill if you want to be a realized sexual person enjoying your sexual experiences. Um, so I want you to just close your eyes and just imagine yourself in some sexual experience. And I want you to see, are you looking at yourself, outside of yourself? Or are you in your body experiencing it? And just make that quick change. And then next time you are with a partner, I want you to really, you know, close your eyes, feel what's happening in your body. And if thoughts are going, oh, but I don't like how that part of my body looks, or oh, but I, you know, I should be getting this done or that done, or, you know, oh, I'm still angry at them about this, you know, just come back into your body. What does that feel like? Is it cold? Is it hot? Is it fast? Is it slow? What's the, you know, this is called sensate focus. What is the, the sensation? And then as you relax and allow yourself to feel that, um, you will naturally become aroused and then your arousal will continue to guide you on your sexual journey. It will, you will start thinking sexually. You know, as we say, um, men think with their lower head, um, and with, they think with their penis and women, we also think with our genitals, but no one wants to acknowledge that yet. But, um, I argue that we have a brain in our genitals, the microbiome there, and we have a way of, of, um, thinking and processing information there that I'm sure in the future, um, science will finally catch up with in the same way that they now know we think with our gut. Well, we have all those microorganisms in our um, in our genitals as well, in the urethra for men and in the vagina and urethra for women. And, um, and our rectum is a part of our sexual system. The pudendal nerve that comes out of the spine innervates the anal nerve, uh, the anus, and then it goes down to the perineum in both sexes and then into the, um, the testes and the, and the penis for men and into the labia and the clitoris for women. So it's all a part of that one network. So when we feel sexually, when we're, our consciousness is in our genitals, but you know, our whole body is an erogenous zone, but especially when we're in our genitals, we then can start to think sexually. We ignite, we turn on, we give permission for that brain to lead us. And in the same way that we say, what does your gut tell you? Um, we could say, what what is it your genitals are telling you? What do they want? What do they think about this situation? Do they, are they saying yes? Are they saying no? Uh, what ideas do they have to bring to the table? I'm sure they have a lot to say. So practice feeling and thinking sexually this week, and I would love to hear your comments and hear how it goes. Okay, speak with you soon. Come to my website, laurenbram.com, to subscribe to my email list. I would love to send you emails every week, and you can get all these videos in your inbox. Okay, bye.